Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Um, the lighting is not good right now because I have these bottles blocking, but these are my paint bottles. I really enjoyed how the last one came out with this ladle, so I'm going to do another one in a split cup and pour over this and then put it on my Lazy Susan and spin and see what we get. I really enjoyed it. I liked how it turned out, but the colors were just a little bit off, uh, so I'm going to use some different colors this time. I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to pour. I'll tell you the colors and then after the colors, as I do the rest of it, I'll just add music and I'll talk to you again at the end. So we'll start with Powerful Pink. That one seems maybe thicker than some of the other ones. And then this one is Blue Lava. And then for my center, my pearl white that I mixed with my pre-mixed pouring paint, my pearl medium, and some golden airbrush medium. I think that today it's a tiny bit thicker than it was last time. And I'm hoping that it works out a little bit better this way because last time I didn't get quite as many of the effects as I was hoping and it was really thin. I think it was thinner than the paints, so I tried to thicken it up just a touch, but not too much so that we can see what happens this time. It might be a little bit too thick now because it's been sitting out for a little bit. I was getting ready to paint and then Celia wanted to eat, so I got distracted. Um, I'll wipe that off for now because I don't... I don't think it would matter that that paint was on there, that that paint dripped, but for now I'll just wipe it off. Looks like I put more white than the other colors. So we'll add just a little bit more of my colors. Okay, and then this one is sky it's like a really light blue with just a hint of turquoise um i'm hoping that it's not too greenish but it's really just a light blue and it reminds me of the light blue by artist loft that i like really well and normally my go-to um whenever i want to test a new technique i like to use a violet or a dioxazine purple a neon pink and light blue but I don't have exactly those shades in these paints, so I'm going to use these colors. And this is Amethyst. This is a purple shade, but sometimes in the pictures or as, they, as it blends with other colors, it can come out a little bit pinkish on camera, but it's Amethyst, so it's purple. I think my paints are a little bit uneven. But I think it's enough. I think I have, I think it'll be okay. I don't think it matters. I don't have to fill it all the way. So I think it's fine. Move my stuff out of the way and I'll be back in a second. Okay, if you notice, I'm trying to get this close to the center, but a little bit farther this way because the paint's going to, this is slanted, it's going to pour that way. I'm just going to pour and add music and enjoy the video and I'll be back to talk to you at the end. pop in to say last time what I accidentally did wrong was I tilted part of the paint over the canvas when I was trying to put it on my Lazy Susan. This time I accidentally dipped my napkin corner in there as I was trying to take my 
spatula away, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I think right off the start, I'm gonna add a little bit of Flow Extender paint around. going on that actually looks kind of neat except for that part there um, that's that's the part where my napkin touched in but it's not I mean it's okay it might actually be okay it might be a part of the design and the overall thing Let me use my heat gun and see what happens. I wonder, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking all of the details. This part here where it got messed up with my napkin looks a lot like these lines that are up here. So I don't think that it's bad. I don't know if I need to spin again. I might just leave it alone and see what it looks like when it dries. I'm starting to think like I want to try doing a dirty cup straight pour, just straight pouring through the ladle. I think that would give some neat effects. I know that that like this is the mistake here, I'm pretty sure, but this looks like that and that looks like that so i think that that's just also part of what happens with the lines in the way that the paint drips sometimes i want to look at it from all directions and just see what i think i love all of the tiny details and the shimmer that gets in the tiny details and how it just all kind of folds over itself. And then I love this burst of stronger color right there. From this angle, this looks like a tree on the side and like a hill. Um, just the way the lines are, I mean. I don't know if I need to spin again. Like, I don't know if I need to spread more paint off of there, but I kind of like it and kind of want to keep it how it is. Oh, it looks like someone um bent over or like laying down sleeping right right there let me face that towards you sorry this part's taking a while just me staring at it and getting my thoughts this looks like someone curled up laying down i don't know why it looks like that to me but then again at this view this way this Part. This shape looks like a tree, and then this is like a hill. I'm just talking about the heavier lines. I'm wondering, I love all of these details that happen and all of this, all of the little parts like here and here from where those drips come out. I'm, I'm loving all the effects that those drips kind of have. Um, but then I like that it has these kind of wavy lines too, and there's like wavy lines there. Um, I've been telling myself that I'm going to stop sooner than what I was in the past. So, um, I think I'll leave it here. I'm really tempted to like tilt this side off and then spin again, but... 
at the same time, I just want to leave it and see how it dries. I'm really enjoying this technique and I want to try it again. Like I said, I want to do just a straight pour through the, um, or like a wandering straight pour or something just to see with like a normal cup and just do a straight pour through the ladle to see how the drips come out. Like do it slowly so that it really has the drips. Um, I like it so far. I like it every way I look at it. Um, so I'll take you down for a close up. Let me know what you think. I'm not going to spin it again. I'm just, I'm going to leave it how it is because all like everything got covered. A lot of paint came off, so I don't think there's too much paint on there. And I hope that this one was quick. I know I did end up stopping and talking more than I had anticipated, but I never know when to shut my mouth. I like it this way that's facing me really well, but I like it the way that's facing you right now too. So I'll see you when it dries. I will heat one more time and then I'll take you for a close up. I think what affects the pearl white is having in this is I think that it's making it more um, hazy. It's like making the colors hazy, if that makes any sense, like smoky. Uh, not really smoky, but hazy, like, I don't know how else, how else to describe it. The colors aren't quite as bright and vibrant as normal. They're a little bit subdued. And I then it has all of those teeny tiny, whenever you get up close, I don't know if I can use this light to make it any better. Um, whenever you get up close, you can see just a lot of little teeny tiny dots like speckles or freckles in the paints. And I think that's from the pearl medium. And I really like that. Um, I'm gonna have to try this technique more and try it different ways and see what I think. Um, or like see how I can get better at it. Just because, um, I like it. I just think there's a lot more I could do with it as well. So that's it for this one. Stick around for the close-up. Thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested and have a blessed day. Bye! Okay, so I want to go in and show you the close-up. Sometimes the colors are a little bit not completely accurate whenever I do the close-ups or whenever I zoom. I hope you can see a lot of these little lines and details and like little spots and speckles and things that I'm talking about because that's my favorite part of this technique. And then you get those bands of color. Like here are some of the spots and just little, looks like that right there, looks like a Christmas angel or something or an ice skater this part here where I stuck my napkin in there and then it stretched out it looks like a tree to me so it doesn't even bother me like I thought it was going to it just became part of the painting. And I like some of these heavier lines where it gives different definitions to the painting. I love like this section here. There's just so much to see in this and it's really hard to show it all to you. I'll try to take some photos to put at the end as well or at the beginning. Um, this might be my favorite way. It's like a winter fairy tale forest or something, like a winter fairy forest, like from Narnia, the White Witch maybe, is that what she was? 
I may be making that up, but it's just, it makes me think of like a winter forest. So I really like it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.